ladies and gentlemen, good, uh, good afternoon. As you know, the uh, Troika mission has uh, concluded what it had to conclude. That's good uh, news for Greece and that's uh, good news for uh, the Euro area and the whole uh, European Union. But uh, it was impossible for us to have a look in depth to uh, the assessment of the uh, Troika statement. But uh, nevertheless, we are happy as far as the general outcome of the mission is uh, concerned. I was discussing with the uh, Prime Minister the uh, fiscal targets of uh, Greece the structural reforms which have to be undertaken by Greece and we were of course discussing the privatization uh, issue on these three avenues there was total agreement between the Prime Minister and myself as concerns the uh, privatization issue I have noted with satisfaction that Greece is willing to set up a privatization fund and I'm totally convinced that um, the privatization plans the Greek government was working out will be implemented quickly, will be implemented in a transparent and credible way. On that basis, I expect the Eurogroup to agree to additional financing to be provided to Greece under, of course, strict conditionality. This conditionality will include private sector involvement on a voluntary a basis and this uh, private sector involvement will have to be no negotiated with uh, a private um, uh, creditors. Under these uh, conditions and on that uh, uh, basis, it's obvious that uh, there will be no exit of Greece from the euro area, there will be no default and Greece will be, honor, will be able to fully honour uh, its uh, obligations. I have to leave immediately because I have to pronounce a speech on the economic governance in the euro area in five minutes from now. George, you have my... Uh, <laughs> okay. Thank, Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Uh, let me uh, also say that this were very constructive and good discussions with uh, Jean-Claude Juncker, uh, who knows Greece well and is a friend of Greece but also is key in this uh, negotiation that uh, is taking place within the European Union and uh, amongst the different um, uh, institutions. Uh, negotiations in Greece were conducted over the past weeks and have been concluded at the staff level. Uh, there is an agreement and that is a very positive sign. Uh, we already have very impressive achievements over the first year of this program, uh, an achievement, for example, of the reduction of deficit by 5% of GDP, uh, with many other changes in Greece, and this with uh, great sacrifices by the Greek people. Still much is to be done, and uh, uh, at the same time, we have seen that the markets remain skeptical, and this is why uh, we are now discussing about additional financial support. Greece will continue to work hard and uh, Greece is committed to fully honor its obligations. As uh, the Prime Minister, Prime Minister uh, Juncker said, uh, we discussed the fiscal situation and our uh, program. We discussed the issue of structural reforms, uh, the program of uh, up to the midterm of, as it's called, the midterm program of 2015, the privatization and development of uh, public assets program. Uh, and uh, this, um, we also talked about how this, uh, this program will further strengthen growth and, of course, employment as, as very important elements uh, in, this, in this decision. I uh, also asked. Uh, uh, Jean-Claude, that um, one of the major issues we have had in uh, the implementation uh, of our program is the capacity of our civil service to make such deep and profound changes and reforms. And uh, what I have asked him, and I have asked a number of member states, and will be asking all our member states uh, and the Commission, is to set up agreements, bilateral agreements, but also agreements with the European Union Commission, 
for capacity building uh, in the civil service, whether it's from privatization to uh, health, uh, from education to e-governance, uh, uh, making, uh, doing business easily in Greece, cutting bureaucracy, uh, all the way to, uh, to revamping and, and strengthening our tourist industry. Uh, these are things which uh, I'm very glad that uh, they are ready to help uh, and uh, provide the necessary people, technical uh, knowledge, expertise, know-how uh, to Greece in this program. And I think that is going to give a boost and it's a further guarantee for the implementation of the program, really making Greece a very different country, uh, making this crisis an opportunity for the Greek people and for Europe. Thank you very much.